This is a general collective message, so only take what applies and let the rest fly. Most importantly, be sure to watch responsibly and always vibe with your tribe. Aloha everybody, this is Joey. Welcome back to the channel. Fa'afitai telelava for being here today. Let's see what messages spirit has for you. You are now entering the divine headquarters. What is up fam? It's your big bro Joey. Welcome to the reading. My chosen ones, fam, my chosen fam, star seeds, light workers, light warriors, empaths, earth angels, spirit guides, uh, peaceful members of the Galactic Federation, and anyone who is in alignment with spreading love, light, and clarity in this world. Okay, thank you guys for being here. I want y'all to remember I do not do readings for karmics or demons. Okay, go over there with that. Okay, the next click next, go to the next reader. All right, but yeah, I heard a song here and I heard a new edition song on um, Mr. Telephone Man. I just had keep hearing. Mr. Telephone Man, and there's something wrong with my line. When I dial my baby's number, I get a click every time. Some of y'all, some y'all have blocked some. Y'all got somebody blocked. Y'all either got somebody blocked, or you're ignoring this person. You may have cut them off cold turkey. We got Libra energy here. I feel like you are not no longer in a, a, a alignment with this person. You are no longer in harmony with this individual. This person like knocked you out of balance. So you had to, you had to uh, balance things back out in your life. Okay. This person may have been stifling your ambition, messing things up, being somebody bringing a messy type of um, environment or energy into your life. And it's like, you, you can't really function. Okay healthily with that energy around you okay and, uh, and, see, and see a lot of y'all have blocked people out of your lives but then they're trying to they're still trying to contact you they're still trying to reach out to you whether this is physically or whether this is uh uh spiritually they're still trying to reach out to you still trying to get in in, in your energy and you like nah <laughs> i'm gone nah we're not doing this Kipper. Might be something in his Kipper deck. <clears throat> but yeah, y'all like, uh, no sir, no ma'am. Like, I don't want no parts of it. Some of y'all judges like flat out ghosted, okay? Somebody out here was flat out ghosted, bro. Like, I'm done talking to you. Ain't nothing to talk about. We don't need to have no explanation. What's the purpose? We are not meant for each other. You not my friend. <laughs> you not you not nothing to me. I want you gone. And and, and I feel like a lot of y'all too. Y'all did it with love. I feel like a lot of y'all y'all backed away because of the love you have for this person or the love you have for people in general or the fact that you do not want a whole big messy drama going on around you and i feel like a lot of y'all felt like you know what let me peacefully bow out of this situation before i go off on this person see a lot of time people don't realize they think that oh because you quiet that means you soft oh because you, you're not reacting you're not letting them get underneath your underneath your uh, underneath your skin that you know is it, it's a sign of weakness when it's not it takes more strength to walk away than it does to react when we react that's showing less control than it does if you don't react you feel me if, and, and, and then sometimes you love people you got love for people and then you know the type of person that you are that any minute now like you let them rack up a certain amount of energy with you a certain amount of karma with you that at any minute you're going to pop on them you know what i mean so instead of you popping on them sometimes you just you just bow, bow bow out of the situation it's like let me just leave peacefully and calmly before i spaz on this person and then they be like why are you spazzing on me because i'm getting in your head y'all remember all everything y'all went through y'all remember all the time every 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 um <clears throat> disappointment you experience with this person you remember it they may not even be thinking about it because it it, it wasn't 
happening to them it was happening to you they were the ones who were doing it you know what i mean and of course they're gonna be oh don't worry about it oh get over it oh da, da, da. because they were not the one that that was that was being traumatized you feel me you were the one that was being traumatized. You were the one that was, that was being disrespected. You were the one that was being overlooked. You were the one that was being talked down to. The list goes on and on. And and I'm, and I'm getting that some of y'all just let it pile up, pile up, pile up. You spared this person over and over and over and over again. You didn't want to go off on them. But when it got to that point where, oh, yeah, I can't. If they put a feather onto the pile that they've already created, if they put one feather on it, it's going to, it's going to knock everything over and I'm going to go off on them. Y'all knew this. I'm getting somebody like, y'all knew this. Y'all knew that. Like, if I hang around here, I'm going to go off on this person. I'm going to black out on them. And they're not going to like it. Trust and believe. They're not going to like it. A lot of y'all looked at the situation because y'all dealing with somebody here who thought that they were all of that. They were mad conceited. They thought that the world revolved around them and you had to do what they wanted you to do. I'm hearing F your feelings. It's F, it, it was an F your feeling season. They didn't care nothing about your feelings about what they did. They were just thinking about themselves. Or think, they were thinking about feeding and appeasing their ego and appeasing their demons. Okay? Some of these people may have had de demonic attachments to them. That fed that ego. That pushed them to do certain things to people or live a certain lifestyle. But yeah, this is somebody who like they didn't they didn't care nothing about what you had going on. You know what I'm saying? It was all about them. And you you realize here, you like, well, if they loved you, they wouldn't hurt you. Because love is not hurt. And I'm hearing some people got the game twisted. You got the game twisted if you think that somebody hurting you is love that's not love if you have a healthy mindset i'm talking about people with healthy mindsets right because i know i don't channel i don't channel uh readings for demons and karmics okay ghouls and goblins i don't i'm not i'm not here for y'all you feel me nah wrong place but for us with healthy mindsets with love in our hearts we take care of the things that we love we take care of the people that we love Where in the where in the in, in the game does it say that you gotta abuse, betray, disrespect? The list goes on and on. Where in the game that does it say that you do that? That that's love. That that's that's you showing that you love somebody. Are you dumb, or are you dumb? Which one? Pick one. Like it don't make no sense. A lot of y'all, a lot of y'all were looking at the fact that hey. I could love somebody else, but I can't disrespect me just to love somebody else and make them feel better. What about my feelings? What about my emotions? What about what I'm going through? What about how I how I felt about what was being done to me? 808 on the um, timer. 808. Hawaii area code. <laughs> I just saw 808. You guys are in a line. You guys, these people were blocking your blessings. That is heavy. Uh, you are creating abundance. And, and, and a lot of these people, when they were in your energy, they were preventing you from creating abundance. A lot of these people were also even taking that abundance from you. Yeah. I just heard, put that in your pipe and smoke it. I don't know whose spirit team is, is in the building, but I just heard, put that in your pipe and smoke it. Burn it all up. It ain't burning bowl baby <laughs> it's time for, it's time for us to have mental funerals for these people who don't belong in our lives like what the hell am i keeping you around for when you don't give a f about me you don't care about me <laughs> why why you why you gonna take up a seat over here i'm gonna need you to get your trifling ass about uh, out from out the from by the table Get out of this chair at a table and, and free it up for somebody who actually has genuine love and kindness in their hearts. How about that? Run it. And these are the type of people that come around and they love bomb you. They love you and then leave you. They only come around you when they want something. 
They only come around you to feed their ego, to put to put you in, to get you in check. Let me make sure that I still got him. Let me make sure that I still got her. Let me make sure that they, they still my puppets. I, I can pull their strings when I want to pull their strings. But a lot of y'all, y'all started, y'all, y'all started seeing it for what it was, and y'all started cutting them strings one by one. Clip, 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 cutting them strings. And when they came back, they didn't have nothing to control you with. There's somebody who love controlling you, love pushing your buttons. This is very, very toxic energy here. People who love pushing your buttons, love seeing you react in, in certain ways, love controlling. Somebody may have used passion to control you as well. Get you to do things you don't feel comfortable with doing. And it was, it was the straw that broke the camel's back and they didn't even know it. See, they've taken this situation. They've taken this connection to the point of no return. There ain't no coming back from this. You have done, you're done. That's why we hear it, Mr. Telephone Man, there's something wrong with my line. Ain't nothing wrong with your line, your ass been blocked, period. Ain't nothing wrong with your phone. So, so, so stop, stop, um, uh, deleting messages and trying to free up space. Stop. Re you don't got to restart your device. None of that. You don't got to reinstall the software. None of that stuff. Ain't nothing wrong with your phone. Your phone is perfectly fine. You just been blocked or you're just being ignored because you did a little bit too much. You did a little bit too much and Ain't no coming back from that. Ain't no coming back from it. And this is somebody who does not take accountability. Turn away from the truth. Okay. They couldn't even express themselves in a in a proper way that showed you that 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 they loved you or cared about you because you want to know why? Because they didn't. You feel me? And now here you go. You're allowing yourself a brand new beginning. Soft life era initiated. Let's hear soft life initiated. Soft life sequence begins now. Yeah, it's like y'all initiating y'all soft era. Y'all like, no, we're not doing this. I'm not doing this with you. I don't deserve to be treated like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, of course, I love you. I got love for you, but I'm not in. I'm here. I'm not in love with you like that to 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 to, to be a martyr. I'm not going to sacrifice myself, and my well being, to make you to 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 feed your ego. <laughs> no, I'm not feeding egos over here. Cause when y'all feed them egos, that leaves y'all y'all be still hungry. Y'all don't have nothing to feed yourself with. Y'all still around here hungry. And like, where you gonna get your meal from? Because you done already gave everything to this fool. <laughs> Tell me more about this situation. Who was I dealing with? Somebody who was a flirter. Oh my God, I can't. Let me stop. <laughs> somebody who was a flirter. Somebody who flirts right in your face. Flirts with everyone. Leaving you feeling insecure and uncertain. Bro, comment down below if you ever had somebody do that to you in your face. Like flirt with other people. And, and, and then turn around and tell you that you insecure. <laughs> How you insecure for seeing what's really going down in front of your eyes? How many people... Um, I'm, I'm, I'm picking up on somebody here. It's like, your person, they, they were, were not just flirt. They don't flirt with people, just flirt with them. They know what they're doing. They letting them know, hey, I'm available. <laughs> wow. They letting them know I'm available. What's good? You could wait until I'm not with her. You feel me? Wait until I'm not with him. And we could run it. Or when she goes to the restroom, when he goes to the restroom running them digits. Who got time for that? <laughs> who has time for that? That is so childish. That is so childish, bro mysterious they they kept their life and feelings hidden from you you see what i'm talking about 
You see this person? They had their hoodie over with you the whole time. They didn't even let you see their hairline. You feel me? They didn't even let you see nothing. What's going on with them? Do you know how their hairline looks? Like, what's going on? Is it pushed back? Or is it falling how it's supposed to fall? You feel me? Well, y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all don't even know how their hair look. Do they got long hair, short hair? What, what's, what's good? They're hiding themselves from you. They hid themselves from you. They didn't. They did it on purpose. So they, so they want to have nothing. See... This is mind games here, okay? Somebody was playing mind games because the more I hide myself from you, the more I don't feel connected to you. And it's easier for me to do um, what I do. You feel me? It's easier for me to do what I do, okay? Being a flirter, okay? Picking up who I want to pick up. And it's easy for me to, to be conceited and be in my own little world. You know what I mean? I'm setting the standards. We, gotta, we have to get into the habit of accepting what people show us if they loved you they wouldn't do xyz you feel me if they love you maybe they will do xyz these things right mm -mm -mm. keeps their life and feelings hidden creating intrigue but also distance you see you want to know why that person was creating distance because it made it easy for them to do whatever the hell they wanted to do. Yes. I don't have no no uh, uh, emotions involved. You know what I mean? Bottom of the deck, hot and cold. They alternated between being affectionate with you. This is confirmation with the, uh, the love bomb energy. Love them and leave them. Let me gash your head up, tell you how beautiful, how handsome you are. Let me give you all the attention. Come with some food, some nice food from your favorite restaurant. Let me hit you up with some with a dozen roses or whatever. Let me let me let me pull all the stops out. Number five, adventure. Let me get mine or get whatever it is like that I came for. And then I'm a bounce on you. Period. You feel me? Who got time to be uh uh having your your emotions going up and down, up and down, up and down for what, bro? Life is already, life can already be hard as it is. Mm. And a lot of y'all is like, no, I'm not doing this. Why am I investing in something that ain't investing in me? That's never, that's not going to have a, a good payout. Make it make sense. Hot and cold alternates between affection and indifference, creating emotional whiplash. Some of y'all neck, y'all neck is hurting right now. Y'all got to <clears throat> come on now, bro. Y'all had to have that little, what that little, the little, uh, neck, the neck brace. They had y'all, I whip my hand back and they had y'all whipping y'all hearts back and forth, bro. <laughs> whipping y'all hearts back and forth. And it's like, that ain't love. That's toxic. <laughs> you don't love me. You feel me? That ain't how you do it. If, if they loved you, they're not going to be flirting with Every time Dick and Harry and in front of your face, you feel me? At least have the decency, decency to do it behind the person's back. But no, they don't because that's who they are. You feel me? They don't, they don't care. A FOMO lover. This is somebody who is. This is FOMO is fear of missing out. Okay, so this is a lover who fears missing out right so this person is driven by the fear of missing out often pursuing relationships or experiences to avoid feeling left out or lonely so a lot of times they just hopping from person to person or they they excited you know they got this um look at this they, they're tourists they excited about oh my god like i want to be in love i want somebody so they hop from person this may be somebody who hop from person to person Hop when they when they finish a connection, they hop into the next one. Even a lot of times, what these people be doing, okay, for some of y'all, I'm getting here is that they will be interviewing. You know what I mean? They will be on the hunt. I'm on a man hunt. Son of the, na, 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 na. That's what I'm just. Um, I know probably I'm I don't know probably remixing a song, but that's what I heard. It's like um, they will be out interviewing people <laughs> that's why they flirters like that bro they're interviewing people interviewing what they next prospects yeah in front of your face you could be saying getting dinner 
and they flirting with the waiter or the waitress. And you're like, what the hell? Like, am I just seeing what I what I think I'm seeing? Yeah, and then they'll gaslight you and tell you that you are over exaggerating. You're not being confident. That's your insecurity. That's that gaslighting that steps in. You feel me? Yeah. This is somebody who is a love and relationship tourist. What do tourists do? You feel me? Let's say somebody, uh, let's say I'm coming to your hometown as a tourist. Am I there permanently? If I'm a tourist? No. I'm in and I'm out. I'm going to go there for a couple of days, a day, a couple, you know, a couple day or two, a week or whatever. And I'm going to explore the city, see the sights, eat some good food, landmarks, you know, museums and da 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 whatever. And then I'm back to the airport and getting the hell up out of there. Love bombing energy here. Here today, going tomorrow. This person flits from one relationship to another, enjoying the excitement of new romances, but never fully engaging with anyone. Come on now. What have we been talking about here? You know, you know, I just heard, you know you need your ass for. It's like, no, <laughs> it wasn't your imagination. It was just my imagination running away with me. It wasn't your imagination. You saw exactly what it was. Yeah, and they tried to love bomb you, mate. No, I was busy at work for the whole week. We had a tough, we had a busy work week. That's why I never returned any of your calls this whole week. Yeah, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah, it's like I went through that whole time and I didn't contact you because I was busy at work. Ain't nobody never that busy unless you're on deployment and you can't really talk to people like that. That's a, that's a different story. But this mofo right here was not on deployment. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> this is somebody, and I just look down. This is somebody who won't do no work. They expect the relationship to flourish without putting in the effort, often relying on you to carry the emotional weight. It's like I ain't putting, I ain't putting nothing in there and what? And I'm going to shelve you on top of it. I'm going I'm to have your ass sitting over there like an elf on a shelf. Randomly places interactions on hold. While they enter other connections and prospects that are deemed more gratifying to them. Yeah. They will turn around. And see, that's why somebody got this person was, would disappear. Flat out disappear. Is that comment down below if y'all if if that if that was y'all. This person will flat out disappear. No, no call, no show. No call, no show. Just be gone. Okay. And you wanna know why? Because they're working on other like I just said, they're interviewing other people, testing other people out. Who got time for that? This person may have also thrived on drama. Drama queen slash king thrives on chaos and conflict often creating unnecessary drama in their relationship mm -hmm. you want to know why they was doing this too to you so they can they can create an opportunity for space baby yes i'm giving y'all game giving y'all this this game right here today creating an opportunity yes Comment down below if y'all honest, y'all know where I'm going with this. Uh, y'all know what I'm talking about here. RTG123, that's ready to go. We ready to go. We ready to move forward. Four movements only. RTG123 in the building, baby. Oh. Yes. Because y'all were dealing with a social butterfly in everybody's faces. It's one thing to be extroverted, but if you went everybody face, you flirting with everybody. Everybody's more important than the person that you're with or that you're building with or that you're trying to get to know. Oh, hell no. Mm -mm. Yo, you got to learn how to love yourself and don't let people be treating you like that because you don't deserve that. You don't deserve to be treated like that. And I see a lot of y'all, y'all have come to that conclusion that, look, you've done too much. That was the fatal blow. It's the final countdown. That was the final countdown for this person. That's why they blocked. That's why the phone ain't working when they're trying to contact you. That's why the connection ain't connected in the spiritual realms when they try to connect to you. 
because they can't contact you uh, verbally, physically. They took it to the point of no return. It's like, ain't no coming back from it. And you're like, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm allowing myself to have a brand new beginning for myself because I deserve a brand new beginning away from this foolishness. I'm not going to sit here and go back and forth with you. I'm not going to sit here and try to convince you that I'm a good, a good catch. Either you think I'm a good catch or you don't. If you, you feel me, either you, either you think I'm a good catch or you don't. And I'm seeing y'all, y'all done with that. You're standing in your power now. You're standing up for yourself now. Yeah. You're standing up for you now. I'm hearing that scene from uh from Goonies. It's our turn. It's our turn now. That's what I'm <laughs> and I'm hearing it's my turn now. I told y'all to get down now. <laughs> single again. Back on the prowl. Yeah. Y'all single again. Y'all doing y'all thing. It's like you you thought you was the the the, the world. <laughs> you thought you, I just got confirmation in my ear. Like you thought you was my world. Like you thought you was the world. You thought you was my world. It's like you thought wrong. Like that's not love. And a lot of y'all took the rose colored glasses off and y'all see exactly for what it is. And y'all like, mm, you know what? I'm just going to go on, ease on down the road. You feel me? And I'm going to start anew. I'm going to put myself first, care for myself, love on myself. And whoever is going to be in my life, they're going to have to match that energy or it's not a good look. It's not like it's not going to work. Yeah. It's not going to work is what I'm hearing. So you guys are taking your power back. Kudos for everybody who took their power back from this person. Or these people, whoever this is, you took your power back. Keep moving forward and don't let nobody play with you because you deserve you. If you are here giving top notch top shelf love you deserve that back now i don't believe in you know, oh my god you shouldn't expect you should do th stuff for people and don't expect not shut shut it up shut it up shut it up i don't want to hear none of that if we're giving love we deserve to get that love back you feel me the hell you gonna take my love from me and you ain't gonna give me no love you, mean, you, gotta, you gotta give us love too or right, ain't, ain't gonna be none between me and you period that's how the, the, the ball bounces and the cookie crumbles when you care about yourself. You're not going to put yourself in harm's way. And you're not going to trust your, throw your pearls before swine. We don't do nothing like that. And y'all, y'all gearing up for something major for yourself with allowing yourself a brand new beginning and cutting this person off. You got, you see, this is Phoenix energy here. Confirmation and watch the further you walk away from the, these people. Watch how your story unfolds and blossoms. Keep that love in your heart. Don't let nobody like this stop you from loving, loving yourself and loving other people and knowing that you can find true love still. And watch how your life transforms. Keep walking forward and watch how your life transforms. Okay. Keep that mofo block and y'all keep moving forward. Okay. That's the message that I got for you guys today. Thank everybody for liking the videos subscribing to the channel and being a part of the fam. I thank you guys so much and I will catch you guys on the next one. Y'all take care. Ciao.